Hi, I'm Father Glenn Botten, and this is the Pilgrim Circle. The family that prays together stays together. You've heard that quote. That's a quote from Venerable Father Patrick Payton. He's a Holy Cross Father, and he's the media missionary who founded Family Theater Productions and the Rosary Hour. Father's words are as relevant for each Catholic family as they are for the most zealous of monastic communities. Prayer is the rocket fuel that propels study and action aligned with the sacramental life, which forms the missionary discipleship. Any missionary activity, which is to say an activity or endeavor aimed at advancing the gospel of Jesus Christ into a world much in need of his saving message, must be rooted in prayer, both personal and communal. The life of Santiago Retreat Center is driven by prayer so that we are prepared, therefore, to welcome the pilgrim and walk with them toward a deeper relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. We have three particular expressions of a resident missionary community life here at the Retreat Center. We've got Santiago Missionary Disciples, we've got Santiago Missionary Pilgrims, and we have Santiago Summer Missionaries. A Santiago Missionary Disciple is someone who commits to an 18-month stay here at the Retreat Center to pray for our mission and to help serve our mission. Open to both men and women, the missionary applies via our website, and if accepted, reports in June for orientation, for training and integration into the rhythm of the missionary life, which includes communal prayer in the morning, maintenance, and in the evening, vespers. The church and the daily mass is included as well. And a missionary disciple also commits to ongoing study and spiritual direction as part of the life. Following initial period of welcome, it is then on to our busy, busy summer camp season during the months of July and early August, and then in the fall, our parish and school-based retreat programs. Along the way, the missionary disciples will share their gifts and talents, and most importantly, their love of Christ and love of His Church. They will interact with all the apostolates of our retreat center, which includes our Catholic business clubs, our digital media studios, and interact with the vibrant life of the Catholic community here in Southern California. This is an excellent experience for any young adult who is serious about their life in Christ and wants to share it with others by praying it forward. Another expression of year-round missionary life at the Retreat Center are our missionary pilgrims. While a less structured in terms of time commitment than our missionary discipleship program, a missionary pilgrim might be a little older, further along in their work life, or who are looking to take time out for a short or a longer period of time to live the missionary rhythm of our life and share their particular skill set to help advance our mission. Applications too are submitted through the website and if accepted, a missionary pilgrim goes through a structured initial period of orientation and acclimation. Santiago summer missionaries are teens or young adults who help run our summer camp programming. Ages 16 and above, a summer missionary might be with us for a specific camp cycle or perhaps our entire camp season. But like missionary disciples and pilgrims, they receive training and formation and join in the rhythm of the missionary life that is rooted in communal prayer, study, and missionary action. So it goes without saying, but must be said, missionary life at Santiago Retreat Center is not easy. It runs countercultural to the broader world at large. But that is why it is so precious and so needed. If you or someone you know is looking to radically grow in their life of Christ, I strongly encourage you to invite them to explore our website. And if you would like to financially support the life of our missionary community, after all, they need to be housed, fed, insured, trained, I invite you too to visit the website and see how you can help us with our missionary fundraising. It's a great way to share in the graces of this particular spiritual, temporal work of mercy. Thanks be to God. This is Father Glenn Botten wishing you a buen camino as we seek the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother and of the Most Chaste Heart of St. Joseph. We ask God's blessing to be upon you, your families, your loved ones, and the apostolates we have here at the Santiago Retreat Center. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.